Hi, I'm Dr. John Hovanessian. People often ask questions about the best way to take eye drops, and there is a right and many wrong ways to do it. This video is going to teach you the right way to take drops, and will give you some tips for people who have a hard time doing so. Most eye drops come in bottles that have a screw-on cap. You need to be careful not to touch anything to either the inside of the cap or the tip of the bottle, because these areas are sterile. Any bacteria that gets on those surfaces can grow in the bottle and contaminate the drops. Some eye drops come in little vials like this, where you break off the cap. These are drops that are meant to be thrown away after just one drop. That's because they have no preservatives, and there's nothing to keep bacteria or fungi from growing inside the open bottle. So the manufacturers make them this way on purpose. Throwing the vial away is what's recommended and what's approved by the FDA. But to save money, some people like to use these droppers more than once. If you're going to do that, here's what I'd recommend. Once it's open, keep the tip of the vial from touching anything and store the vial with the tip up inside a clean shot glass or other narrow container. Keeping this in the refrigerator will also minimize but not entirely prevent contamination. No matter what you do, you should probably throw the open vial away after about a day. Okay, here's how to take an eye drop. First, tilt your head back as far as possible. Sometimes laying down makes this easiest. If you're right-handed, hold the eye drops in your right hand between your thumb and index finger. Use your left hand to pull down your lower eyelid, which makes a pocket between your lower eyelid and the eyeball. Tilting your head back makes this pocket more exposed and easier to hit with the drop. That pocket, after all, is where you're aiming for the drop to fall. Rest your right wrist on the knuckles of your left hand. This gives your right hand better control and better stability. Hold the bottle with the tip pointing downward about an inch or more above the pocket in the lower eyelid. Don't let the dropper tip touch your skin or the eyeball or the inside of the eyelid. Squeeze out just one drop and let it fall into that pocket. You can do this same maneuver for either eye. Putting the drop on the forehead or the cheek does not count, but it may happen sometimes when you're new to doing this. If you miss, try again, and you'll find you can actually get pretty good at getting the drops in. If you absolutely can't do this, here's another way that's not quite as good, but almost anyone can do. Look up toward the ceiling, or lie flat if you prefer, and keep your eye gently closed. Let the drop fall in the little valley around the inside corner of the closed eyelids. Then open your eye and blink a few times. The drop will roll into the eye. This method is not quite as good because there is an opportunity for skin bacteria to contaminate the eye drop. Though it's not ideal, this way is probably better than not taking your drops at all. By the way, there's never a reason to take any more than a single drop of any eye medicine. The eye just doesn't hold any more than one drop, so taking more than one is really just wasting medicine. Some people say they can't always feel when the drop goes into the eye. A good way to make this easier is to refrigerate the drop. You'll feel the cold on the eye. It's actually kind of soothing. And although it's not required, it won't do any harm to keep them cold. Also, if you have issues with drops stinging your eyes, keeping them cold can actually help a lot. One last really important bit of advice. Immediately after you put in an eye drop, you should close your eye for about five minutes. Why? Because it keeps the drop in contact with your eye at full strength for a much longer time than if you start blinking. Doing this can more than double the effectiveness of your drops, so it is time really well spent. You should also wait about five minutes between taking any two different eye drops in the same eye. That way the first eye drop can be absorbed instead of being washed away by the second. I hope you find this information makes taking eye drops easier. I'm Dr. John Hovanesian. Thanks for watching.